And this is how you can make a strobe light by using the 555 timer. Hello guys, welcome to another episode at IB Electronics World and today we are going to discuss further about the 555 timer. So Today we are going to make a strobe light. We are going to use three LEDs from the left hand side and three other LEDs from the right hand side. And here you can see live the hardware. So I have already implemented the hardware and I'm going to explain how I implement it. As you can see, number three, as I explained actually from the previous episode, uh, if you haven't seen my previous episodes about the duty cycle, it's good to have a look actually and understand further. So the number pin number three is the output of the 555 timer and actually when it's high and it's 5 volt and when it's low it's 0 volt and again it goes high uh, 5 volt and again low. So in our case when it's going to be high the right hand side of the LED it will be on. As you can see I have connected the anode of the first LED to the positive here and then it goes from the cathode to anode and then from the cathode to anode and then it goes to the ground. And from the left hand side as you can see it goes from the positive here plus 9 or you can use plus 12 and it goes to the anode and then the cathode is connected to the anode of the next LED and then the same. And then it goes to the output of the 555 timer. So practically when it's going to be 0, this one it will be on and when it's going to be 5, it will be 1 actually, it will be this side on. So on this diagram I have placed on pin number 8 and 7 a uh, resistor 15k and on, on pin number 7 and number 6 I have placed a 56k and I'm using also a bypass capacitor from pin number 2 to the ground which is pin number 1 which is 10 microfarad and the same I have done on the, the hardware so this is the left hand side and this is the right hand side and this is 56 kilohm resistor and this one is the 15 and I'm using the positive here and then the negative and I'm using the capacitor from pin number 1 to 2 and I'm using in the middle so practically I've connected the anode to the cathode minus of this LED here and I have used a wire which is connected to this pin actually here and it goes to the number 3 which is the output of the 555 timer but let's see what it will do so, but I have also connected um, the oscilloscope in order to see that once I will switch on that you will see that it will start changing and it depends when it's high, it will be, as I explained, right side. And when it's low, it will be the left side on. So that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.